Hi guys and dolls, welcome back to another video. It's Michelle from Michelle's Manny's. Thank you for joining me today. Um, today's just a quick set. I'm using some Madame Glam Black on that nail and Madame Glam No Wipe Top Coat just to put some rose gold chrome powder. Holy, I had a <laughs> brain fart. Madame Glam Chrome Powder on that nail. And that's going to be it for that. The other three nails that you're looking at in the background are Russian Blue from Madame Glam. A really, really, really pretty blue. Love that one. So top coat, cure for about 15 to 20 seconds. And there is the chrome powder. And it's it's from Amazon. It's called M I Me. A-I-M-E-E. -E. Works really well. I do find that different ones in this collection, there were, I think, 14. I'm not exactly sure now. But different ones in this collection do require different cure times for the top coat. Yeah, some are fine with 10 seconds. Some are fine with a full cure. Some anywhere from 10 to 15 seconds. So it's, it's a little fiddly to say the least you gotta really figure it out and if I was smart I would have written the time on the packages that they're still in but I didn't do that no no I didn't so I thought the rose gold would be a nice accent with the rose gold stickers that I'm going to use um didn't really 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 work out but it's not ugly it's, you know it's whatever it's chrome it's pretty anyway I don't care uh, the rose gold stickers I'm gonna top that now okay I'm gonna top coat this first when you're top coating chrome one thing to remember is float your brush float your top coat over that chrome powder don't press your brush down you see how my brush isn't fanning out if your brush fans out too much, you do run the risk of pulling off that chrome powder. Because it's only adhered to the tacky layer left behind by the top coat, the uncured top coat. So yeah, don't fan out your brush. Don't press too hard. Just float it over the top. So now I'm going to apply these stickers. I cut the little sheet in half just so I could fit it in my folder, my binder. I'm just going to use a couple of these. And of course I have to take the time to figure out which ones I want to use. Okay, that one I will put on the ring finger. I did use three. And I used some plain gold striping tape as well. Also from AliExpress. I'm I'm pretty sure. It may have been from Amazon, but I'm pretty certain it's from AliExpress. They're really pretty. They're not holographic or anything, they're just metallic. They're really nice. These ones I ordered before November eleventh. Their big sale on November eleventh. The the rose stickers. And they came maybe I don't know, maybe a month ago. Yeah. I ordered those in like September, October maybe. Mm-hmm. I am not pleased with AliExpress lately. And I see all you guys, all, all you lovely ladies, getting all your orders and doing AliExpress hauls. And I'm so jealous. I'm just kidding. I'm happy for you. If you can get it, I'm happy for you. So, yep, just a bit of striping tape on the top and on the bottom, kind of framing in that rose. On the other two remaining nails, I do some striping tape as well. It did not want to stick. It did not want to stick. And I don't know if that's because I was doing it on a matte surface. I'm just a DIYer, you guys. I do not know all the ins and outs of this. Uh, what I do know, I know, but this I don't know. I don't know if the sticker didn't stick very well because it was on a matte surface or if it needed to be on a glossy top coat. 
Either way, they, they stayed down in the end, but they were a little finicky to get down in the beginning. I had planned to do um, some chromey things on all the nails, or some hand painting, sorry, not chromey things, some hand painting on the nails, and then I decided, no, I'm just going to go with a quick set today, and that's it. It's a cold, rainy Sunday in Stony Creek, Ontario, and I don't like it, and I don't feel like doing too much. But I thought I'd do this cute little set. It's a generous top coat. You can do either one generous top coat or two thin top coats. The trick with top coat, if you're going to do two top coats, is to do the second top coat right away. Otherwise, it could separate. I've had that happen a million times before I realized what the heck was going on. On the middle nail, I will put striping tape straight up and down the middle of that nail. Even when striping tape's on a card, it does make it a lot easier to handle. Oh my gosh, does it ever. But even when it's on a card, it's still fiddly sometimes. I'm just cutting off the edges of the tape. You want to cut it a millimeter or two shy of the edge of the nail, just so that your top coat can encapsulate it. Otherwise, it'll cause lifting. Found that one out the hard way too, by the way. <laughs> so much with me before I found YouTube was trial and error. And even on YouTube, there are people who will tell you that it's right when I know it's not. You can't, you can't listen to everybody. There are ladies out there who are absolute fountains of knowledge. But there are other ladies out there who aren't, but pretend they are. And that's not good. If you're looking for, for absolutely, like, spot on information go to the professionals go to the professionals who have like uh, Kirsty Meekin from Nail Nails Susie from Nail Career Academy for acrylics uh, Liz Morse from the Nail Hub for gels you know those people they know what they're talking about they really really do just your everyday average Joe like me I, I know some things because I've watched pretty much every single video that Liz Morris from the Nail Hub uh, has done. And she did a gel series, gel fundamentals series, which is how I learned how to do gel nails. And I'm telling you, and she explains everything into detail. She even talks to chemists, the, uh, the guy who founded Light Elegance polishes or gels or whatever. Jim McConnell or Jim Connolly or something his name is. But anyway, yeah, if you want the correct information, go directly to the correct sources. Because I see some people applying gel polish without a base coat and, you know, terrible or poly gel without a base coat, which can work. It can work. But if you want longevity in your application, you need to put a base coat on there. You need to. With with poly gel and builder gel. It needs something to stick to. A primer for acrylic application is very important. Very important. It will, like I said, it will work without it. You just won't have excellent adhesion to your nails. Yeah, so that's it. Those are the products I've used. So I hope you've enjoyed hanging out with me today. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, and ciao for now. And hope to catch you in the next one. Bye.